Hey guys, it's The Doll Place, and today we are going to be showing you guys how to make this super cute doll cold shoulder top. And you guys have the option to either sew this top or instead you could use the steps that we give you and just glue it. So without further ado, let's get onto the video. So the things you will need are some fabric and I am just using an old t-shirt and this works just fine. You will also need some scissors to cut the fabric a pencil and a piece of paper and you will also need velcro to close the shirt in the back so let's get started so the first thing you're going to do to make this shirt is lay your doll down and place a piece of paper on top of her and with your pencil just mark the basic outline or shape of your doll's torso and this was a little bit difficult to record but it should look something like this like we said, it is just the basic shape of your doll, and yeah, this is going to be the front pattern piece. And then I just go ahead and I add a good half an inch on both sides of the thing to add a little bit of seam allowance. And then you're also going to want to add that to the bottom as well so you have room to hem it, and then it should look something like this. Then we go ahead and cut out this pattern piece. And as you can see, it looks kind of like a tank top and it fits her just like a tank top would. And you're going to use this pattern piece to cut out the same shape in your fabric. And it should look something like this. Now I'm going to take the piece of paper and just fold it directly in half. And this is going to be the pattern piece for the back of the shirt. And you're just going to go ahead and cut one of these out out of the same fabric. It should look something like this. Now you're going to flip over your pattern piece and cut out fabric, this time adding a half an inch so that there is room for the Velcro. So now you should have something like this. You should have two pieces faced the opposite direction and you can see that there is room for one to overlap the other. So the next thing you're going to do is turn your doll onto her side and mark with a pencil and paper where her arm is so that you can start working on the sleeves. And you're just going to be marking this little curve at the top of her arm to start with. Then you're going to go ahead and add a little bit on both sides of this little half circle shape. And then you're going to fold it over her arm and you're going to mark where the edge of her arm is. And then make another line a little bit further out, about half an inch so that you have room to sew the seam. Your pattern piece should look something like this. And you are going to want to add about half an inch at the bottom just so you can hem the sleeves. Now at this curve line, you are going to mark a curve the opposite direction and erase the previous line so you can get the cold shoulder effect. And your pattern piece should look something like this. Next, you're going to go ahead and use this piece to cut two of these out of the fabric. Then you are going to hem over the bottom of both of them. Then you're also going to be hemming the cold shoulder little curve line that we talked about, just so that you have a clean seam. After you follow that step, your fabric should look something like this. Next, you're going to be using the back piece and you are going to be hemming the curve of the arm and the curve of the neck. You're also going to want to hem the side and this is going to be the side that has the Velcro on it so you want the edge to be clean. After you've done that step, it should look something like this, and then you're just going to want to hem the bottom so you have a clean edge. This is what the completed back piece should look like, and then you're just going to repeat all these steps on the other back piece, just in the opposite side. So here is what the two completed back pieces should look like, and as you can see, the bottom is hemmed, the arms are hemmed, and the neck is hemmed. And one piece should overlap the other. Using this same sort of design, you are going to be hemming the front piece on the neck and the arms and bottom. And after you've done that, it should look something like this. Lay out your three pieces and then turn so that your back pieces and your front piece are good side to good side. And now you're just going to stitch down the side seams so that the back pieces and the front piece are all together. It should look something like this. Going back to those sleeve pieces we previously hemmed, you are just going to fold it directly in half and then you are just going to be stitching straight down the open side. 
turn it right side out and it should look something like this. Next, line up this back seam with the seam that is at where the front piece and back piece meet. Just go ahead and sew this about three quarters of the way up the curved edge. And this is what creates the cold shoulder effect on the sleeve. And now you're going to just go ahead and sew the two little straps at the top together. And that completes the first sleeve, and you're just going to repeat this on the other side to complete the basic shirt. And then we went ahead and sewed the Velcro onto the back. And that completes your cold shoulder top for your doll. And I think they are so cute, and you could literally pair this with any sort of outfit, skirt, pants, whatever, so I just love how versatile they are. And you can make them in all sorts of different colors so that your dolls have a huge collection of them. And they are just so easy and simple to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and leave a comment down below if you guys decide to make these, because we'd love to hear. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.